Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Gonna continue the Super Series Casty Cast. And Gensei talking smack per usual. Gonna continue this Gensei Rabbit Teams versus Coke and Jose. So, we got Jose on the Terran, partnered up with Cokesters on the Protoss. The, this is game number six. I just took my melatonin, so I'm going to get through as many as I can. They played, I think I had them playing as 16 games, but they actually played 15. Um, pretty sure. So, let's see how this one plays out. I am excited. I haven't seen, um, I mean, I've, I've only seen bits and pieces of some of the games, so... And I will be, I don't know if I, I don't think I said this in my previous cast, but unfortunately I will be gone from December 22nd to December 30th. So I'm going to miss the end of the season and that's going to be the best part. Um, but I guess I'll, I'll be checking SCW and, and seeing how everybody's doing, but I won't be able to do any cast. Unfortunately, I'll be in Florida. So I'm going to try to do as many casts as I can before I leave. I got one more week of work. And then I'll be um, but I'll be off for a while. So let's get right into it. You got Gensei doing the normal. He's got a forge right here. Probably going to try to box in a Kokini. Kokini got the four gateways. Hmm. Jose got the Terran going on right here. So actually they might just... We'll see if they go one versus one. Or, and that's why he's going to send the, the Zealot in here. So, grab it, going to send the Zealot right over here. So, it's going to be like a one versus one here. And then also a one versus one down here. So, going to spot this Zealot, get a nice little micro on that. So, good job there by Kokini. And now I think they're going to try to attack. We'll see. Um, gonna put that zealot right there, bring his probes over, and now they might go for the attack on Jose here. He's got a, let's see, and is he getting boxed in? He's gonna be getting boxed in, so, going to be annoying with this zealot, and might just run this zealot right back in here, and this is one of the things about having, getting that forge and then the cannon, is, um, you don't have to worry about getting harassed, I guess he's not gonna continue the harass. Looks like fourth barracks on the way for Jose. He will be boxed in. Should get a forge. Yeah, gonna get that forge. Don't want to get trapped out here. So it's basically one versus one. Gensei versus Kokini right now. And Gensei's got a little bit more Zots here. He is in a middle position. Getting that gas. And he's already got a cyber on the way. And that's what they do is they go super fast tech. Super fast tech. And I'm guessing Gensei is going to go with drops. And then Rabbit's going to go with a mass. So, going to get attacked right here. See some cannons come down from Kokini getting his first gas. Going to lift this over. I like this move from Jose. Needs to maybe build a. He's got to be a little careful. But Kokini should be okay here. Let's back it up. Back, back, back it up. And this cannon, I think, is close, yeah. So Gensei going to go around, and he's getting two more gateways. Actually, three more gateways, so he's going to have six gateways. And going to try to take out some of these cannons, which he is. And this cannon is taking a little bit of time to finish. They're finally going to finish right there. Going to lose that cannon, but now he's going to be okay. They took out the gateway here, but he is going to be fine. I think this is a miss rally by Rabbit, so he's going to lose three. And there's a fireback coming in here. Beautiful job here by Jose. Gonna make Rabbit have to spread. There is a cannon right there. And he's gonna wait for that other one. And that is gonna buy him some time. Let's see what... There's your Dragoon range on the way. Here's a Dragoons for Rabbit. Gonna try to sneak this around the corner. I like this from Jose. Jose always... He's a little mini Korean. This is what he does, so... Uh, that is going to get sniped out. A lot of Zealots here. Kokini going to keep making the cannons. 
And I think, are they trying to cannon? They're going to try to cannon Kokanee as well. So, don't want to get countered. See, he's got that rally. So, he's losing some units. So, Rabbit not doing the best job right there. And you got an attack right here. Here's Dragoon should be coming. There's your Dragoons. We'll see if he brings these Dragoons up in the corner. They're going to probably go on the back, but got to be extremely careful. Here's your cannon rush. And maybe he needs to make two more cannons right here and then make build a gateway right here. Doesn't want to get trapped here. Um, this is that ultra aggressive strategy. Here's your probably a tank drop's going to come from Jose. And another gateway coming from. Gensei, and he's just going to keep micro and back and forth, back and forth with these Dragoons and try to take out as many of these Zealots as he can. They're going to keep cannon rushing here and going to take out this Pylon, but this is giving Jose some time. He's going to try and start pushing out right here, and we'll see if they go for a counter. You don't want to get countered, but they're going to take out a lot of gateways of Kokanees, so... And Kokanee's already got a Templar Archives on the way. And this is why I think Kokanee is a really strong 2 vs 2 player because he does things like that. Uh, his tech is extremely fast. A lot of players wouldn't even have that tech. And he's actually pushing out here. He's getting cannon rushed. Um, he's going to have DTs. The only problem is the DTs aren't going to be as good because there are cannons in his base. Um... But they will be helpful. He's just going to continue to make cannons. And I'm guessing a tank drop's going to be getting made. Yeah, so tank drop at 7 minutes. And just trying to survive here. And he's saving his... He's doing a, a pretty good job here. Really, really doing a good job here. Already a Templar. So, wow. Rabbit has a super fast tech. And I heard a tank siege up. So, yeah. Jose's going to be coming on the offensive. Or coming to help out. Dropping the... Fire bats, fire bat drop, and Gensei going to talk a smack and, and act like the game is over. Um, but there's a lot of zealots here. And might take out the main, we'll see. And the problem is, yeah, so I think Kokini might be dead. But he is building some cannons out here. And we'll maybe get an expo. But now the attack is going to happen on... An attack on Rabbit. So uh, we'll see if Rabbit is able to survive this. There's a vessel here. And all these cannons are going to make it really tough for Gensei to save his partner. So I like this counter move right here by Jose. He's going to siege up. Nice little storm right there. And now it's basically going to be Rabbit trying to survive right now. Here come the units to come help out. The Nexus will probably get made real soon. But once he kills this, he's going to bring these tanks in here. And uh, take out the minerals if he can. Maybe even take out the main. If you can take out the main, it's basically equal. Here's the attack from Gensei. He's a little supply stuck. Look at all these cannons though. So we'll see if this goes down. Let's see if he's got an upgrade. There's, there's, a, there's a DT right here. So that's going to be... Oh, that's rabbits. Okay. So, yeah, he's going to have to start moving in here. Now, seizing up this tank and going to have to try to help his partner out. But um, let's see what I think. I think uh, rabbit might die here, though. Not able to save his partner. So now this is going to turn into a one Verse 1. Oh, a lot of those guys died right there. Needs to take out this main. Kill these guys. Take out this main. So he needs to get that done. If he can get this main. Here's a Reaver, though. Jose not spending his money that well. And... Ooh, he's going to lose the Reaver. Maybe going to have to get a dropship. I think he should get a dropship. He's actually going to keep sending over. Maybe put a couple tanks right here. That'd be a smart move. I'm going to guess uh, Kokanee's going to say... Tell him to do that. There's some DTs from Kokanee. So, geez, these games are epic sauce. McGeeskies. And i going to micro this a little bit back. Jose does need to spend his money a little bit better. Um, and there's your triple for Gensei. Doesn't have a drop just yet. I don't see a robotic support bay. But he will start getting drops. And Rabbit is getting owned. Kokanee's still alive. He's got a Nexus. 
And he needs to put this tank over here. Man, these games are absolutely epic. Gonna stim these guys, not paying attention to his units. So good, good move there by Jose. And here's your DTs and no observer. And just gonna keep uh, tucking the smack, which is can be annoying, you know. Say so is like a little kid, I guess. Um, Templar archives. There's your tank on the side, so a really good move there. And now it's time to go for that attack again, get some defense. And Kokini needs to, he's got an expo right here. He's got 32 probes, so he's actually doing better than Rabbit. The only thing is Rabbit does have a, oh, is, is, was there a drop? Okay, no, I didn't see a drop. Um, Rabbit's going to start dropping, so they're both going to start dropping and scouting the expos right here. He needs to put a tank right here to save his partner. DT coming here, so this is going to be bad for Kokini. Uh, gonna have to scan that, but stimming this over. I haven't seen a drop, and I hope I haven't missed one. Here is a Templar drop, and is he gonna try to Templar drop Kokini? That would be a smart move. Um, but this is gonna go down, and Kokini just gonna keep walling off. I think they need to go for the attack on. They need to go for the attack on. Uh, on rabbit finish rabbit while you can and here's a drop coming so this is kind of wide open on Gensei there's your drop he's gonna pull and scan and oh he blasted it so really really nice job there by Jose coming in going for the attack and yeah Gensei this is not over yet so uh, here's your attack right here though gonna start killing Kokini and Ooh, not spending his money that well. Nice little block off here by Kokini. These are the things that Kokini does really, really smart. Um, and I think he needs to keep trying to go for those drops. Uh, Jose's base not looking that pretty. And I, he needs to try to finish Rabbit if he can. As soon as he can. Jose's basically maxed out. Maybe just go for the attack on... Maybe just try to attack Gensei here. I think maybe you just go for the attack on Gensei. You know Rabbit's not gonna... If you can kill Gensei, you know Rabbit's boxed in. So maybe that's that's the way to go. There's no Templars over here. He doesn't know that, but... Um, there is no way that, that Rabbit can come and help out. So, uh, this way you can get countered. So, and he might run these guys all the way in here. So, I think the, the move might have been to go after Gensei there. But he is starting to work his way in here. Um, and these DTs are going to be huge. Let's see. And uh, just spamming annoyingly. And... Yeah, I think they should have went for the attack on... On Gensei. Because he got the tank drop on him. And then also... Rabbit's pretty dead, and I mean he lost his minerals. So I, I mean I didn't see him lose his minerals, but it's not that bad because he's got so much minerals in the bank. So if he can just mass up like crazy, let's see. If he's got upgrades. One, one, one upgrades. Get a tank drop off. He should be trying to go for a tank drop as well. See if they're upgrades. No upgrades for Jose. He's got one, one on his uh, bio. S still working in here though, but. I do think he should have went for that attack on Gensei. That was the move to make. And Jose had 118 supply. Let's see if there's, I don't see any Templars out here. He's gonna probably start making some Templars though. Gensei is beatable. Uh, this game, very, very close. Um, and here comes the attack. And gonna bring this DT up. There's your observers. Not gonna control the observers that good. And Kokini gonna leave, so I think there it's gonna be the GG pretty soon, but doesn't look like Jose wants to leave just yet. I'm guessing another drop's gonna come pretty soon. Some scans coming down. And
trying to push out here. Let's see if 1-1-2 one, one, upgrades. Rabbit is starting to come back to life. Getting a Nexus. And he's just going to continue to drop. He's got a drop coming this way. A lot of SCVs chilling right here. And here comes that drop. Going to sneak in here. And there's your Reaver. Jose's already kind of broke. He's only got 28 SCVs. And yeah, he should he should leave now. Now it's about time. Um, but, I mean, they could have had this one. They could have had this one. They played this one pretty good. Um, I think they could have won Gensei. So, observers on the side. That's what Gensei does. And, gonna scout this out. 2 2 upgrades for Jose. Killing some of this in his base. And Jose didn't spend his money as good as he should. And his base wasn't that good. So, I think Jose could have played this one a little bit better as well. So, um, but we'll just wait till he leaves. And uh, there's a big attack in the middle. Nicely spread out. Probably got 2-2-2 two, two, two upgrades. Soon to be. Let's see. Gonna take this out. I'm guessing the attack is going to come from Rabbit. And I wish I could turn the chat off. Um, I think maybe Gensei's got ADD or something. Who knows? So yeah, just waiting for Jose to, to dip out of this game. Probably not going to call the GG either. So, good game right there. So, it's going to be 4-2 to two right now. And it could have been 3-3. Three to three. So, get right into the next one. It is going to be the same matchup. And I think, I think Buell and Dorami are playing right now. So, maybe I will stop this one a little bit short. Maybe do three or four games and then maybe do a little live cast. Yeah, they always. I, I don't know what a chobo, chobo is. It sounds like it's uh, derogatory for. I, I don't know. It's almost somewhat derogatory, but I don't know what it means. And I don't really care to Google it. But we got Kokini on the Protoss here. And you got Jose on the Terran. So. And you got Protoss. Protoss. We'll see if they both rush. Which they do every game. And we'll see how Jose plays this one. Same build order, but Gensei's going to scout first. And I'm surprised he scouted first. And Rabbit's build order is a little bit different. Uh, he gets a gateway. Then another gateway. And then another gateway. Compared to Kensei gets gateway. And then he'll have 300 minerals and it's gateway, gateway. So they're a tad bit different build orders. But I think Rabbit's is a little bit better. But it's just easier doing it the way Gensei does it. So. Or maybe you can scout earlier. Not sure. But here's your triple barracks for Jose. I like to get that sound nice and loud. I love the StarCraft music. Who doesn't? Here's your four gateways for Coke. And Kokini getting annoyed. Here's your forge from Rabbit. We'll see what time the gas they get. So let's see how early they get gas. I'm wondering how fast they get gas. Here's your box in on the Terran. So it's going to be pretty easy to box in. Both the Protosses are right here. Got the micro of that Marine. And two Zealots coming out. Going to get scouted out by Gensei. Here's your gas. So at about two, 220 gets two gas. So that's about the time that they get gas. Let's see if Kokini starts getting gas. He's got two zealots here. And they might just box in Jose and then go for the attack on Jose. Here's a, is that a cannon? Cannon for Gensei. He's got four zealots out here. 
And here comes your an attack. But there's just too many zealots over here, so I'm not really going to be able to do much here. So I'm going to have to micro those guys back. These guys might get trapped. Had to cancel those cannons, so that was somewhat effective. Going to probably, I think Kokanee's going to probably get some cannons in here. But I'm going to have to get a bunker, I think. So i going to get that bunker pretty soon because this is going to be tough to micro out. He should be able to out micro this, though. But I guess, I mean, this is Gensei. And, but he did out micro that pretty nicely. So, um, he could have still microed it a little bit better. But I think Kokini should be getting a pylon in here to help out his partner and get some cannons. There's your gas. Let's see what the tech is. Getting a nexus. And there is your citadel and your robotics facility. Here's an attack from Kokini trying to bust out here. Boxed in. And I'm guessing Kensei's going to go right into... Probably DTs. He might get some DTs, but let's see if he's still making, not making any more zealots. So he's got zero zealots right now. Just saving all of his money to get that Templar archives. Going to keep getting the gas. Yeah, just not producing. So Rabbit is basically producing everything right now. Here's your uh, command center for Jose. Gas. Cyber right here. So probably going to get that Citadel. Probably going to pull that probe and get that Citadel. Maybe not. Here it is. And he's going to be the one that's massing. So, And then there's your triple from Gensei. And Templar Archives is getting close to being done. No extra Nexus for Kokini yet. There is some micro action going in the middle. And pumping off of those four gateways. And Jose, now the music's a little bit too loud. I think they're going to try to bust this. Realizing that they always go super fast. One of them goes super fast tech. That there's going to be little mass. But there's just a lot of cannons here. So I don't think they're going to be able to bust this. So we'll see. Going to scout. This guy's going to. So they, actually they don't know where Gensei's at. So going to scout this out and see the tech. Know that there is going to be a super fast drop. Here's your DTs. Three DTs going to come out here. And I don't see. Kokini going to have to get that cannon ASAP. For his partner, he's getting it right now. Where are those DTs? Ooh, did he put him in here? Gonna go with a DT drop. Not expecting this. So, not gonna have a turret back here. And pulling these guys back. Yeah, he saw this and he knows that there's probably a DT drop. Gonna scan. So if he uses his scans, ah, he already used it though, so. These DTs are going to do some work. And did not have a turret over here. So, and going to go right after the comm set. So, nice, nice move there from Gensei. And now, Kokini going to maybe just try to attack this tech. Yeah, I think they should have scouted Gensei and seen exactly what he was doing a little bit earlier. But now, I think Jose is dead. So... This one is going to go to Gensei and Rabbit. And this one was Jose's fault. Did not get a turret back here. And got a little bit too aggressive out here. I think they should have both just kind of turtled up. And Kokini should have tried to scout. Scout the tech on both of them. And see exactly what they were doing. So. It's one of those games you learn from. And. We'll probably see the GG pretty soon. And the score, there's your there's your scan going to come down. But just these DTs probably got so many kills. 10 kills. 10 kills. So 20 kills. And they're just going to keep continuing to do get do some uh, work. So let's see if Rabbit's going to upgrade. No upgrade yet. And he's got storms as well. kokodi has got storms. Sending this probe over here. Finally going to kill those DTs, but I'm guessing a drop. Kokini was able to kill all of this. But I'm guessing a drop's going to be coming. Here's the attack from Rabbit. And... Yeah. Gensei's kind of annoying sometimes. I mean, I know it's like funny sometimes, but then it's like also really annoying sometimes. So, uh, the game is going to, is going to be 5 to... Is it five to two? 
I want to say. I think it's five to two. So five to two, Gunsay Rabbit. And going to have another same matchup. <coughs> if you guys like the channel and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to get up to 500. Be very, very nice. Let's see, Kokanee right here. And Jose right here, Gense right here, and Rabbit right here. So we'll speed it up. We know exactly what Gense and Rabbit are going to go for. Going to scout super early. And... Going to get the scout off. Let's see if he gets a forge. Oops. So he is going to go with a Forge. They're going to box in Jose. I think they're going to play this one a little bit defensive. And we got the... Gateway getting the gas even earlier than usual. So we'll see if Kokini going to spot this out. And see that gas is super, super early. And there's no Forge this time. So... We'll see if Kokodi maybe just sends... He should send his zealots in over here and just harass. I think that's what he should try to do. We'll see if that's what he does. Zealot coming in here. You don't really have to worry about getting harassed. Gonna try to get a couple shots off on this guy, but... Your, his cannon should be finishing up just in time. Maybe he could pull a couple... Nice little trap right there. Beautiful move right there by Kokini. And... That cannon's a tad head late and now he should send some of his zealots over here and take out some of the probes or try to harass a little bit maybe get one more cannon just in case he does get countered here's the attack and to take out the cannon right here a little micro from Jose and that's the one thing about Jose is his micro is usually pretty on point with his Terran so uh, here's Kokini gonna start attacking let's see if Dragoons are maybe gonna be going for Gensei here Got four zealots, but now another three, so it's gonna be six. And Kokodi getting another gateway. And let's see if he's going with dragoons. He's got the gas for it. I think he's waiting for a robotics facility. And now we might get a counter, or not a counter, but a double attack on Kokodi here, getting another cannon. So good move there. And no gas for Rabbit because he's really just spending all his money on these cannons right here. Here's a minor attack up here, out here. Cooking up the back up. And he's got he's gonna lose this pylon. They'll see that that's an easy kill right there. But and already Rabbit's gonna start cannoning up. So smart move there. Actually probably gonna go dragoons, yeah. So gonna start cannoning up. Kokini's base, and already three Dragoons are in the building. So, I mean, super fast Dragoons. He's got another four gateways on the way. Going to start taking out the gateways. That's what they do, is they take out all your gateways. And it's just extremely tough. And I don't know, I, I guess maybe Jose could just run past and go this way with his fire bats. It'd be a possibility. And then if Kokini could just try to survive this, because he's doing a pretty good job. These cannons are coming down. Might have to just... Yeah, I don't know. But Kokini's doing a pretty good job here. Surviving this really nicely. Uh, he's got these four gateways. And he's outmassing this. Even against these Dragoons. Some more Dragoons are coming out right here. Does have to worry about the Dragoons. And he's going to stack attack. So nice move here. Going to go after the cannon. So I like that move from Kokini. Going to take out that cannon. Going to take this cannon out. Gonna go after the Dragoons and gonna micro it a little bit backwards. And Jose needs to try to at least get out and attack a little bit. But I don't think he's gonna be able to. I think some more cannons need to come down in the back for Kokini. But Kokini doing a really nice job surviving here. But there's just a lot of Dragoons, and I'm guessing Gensei's gonna eventually. Ooh, if he could put that tank right here, he could start taking this out. But he also needs to just take this out. If he could just take two of these cannons out now, 
he'll be in a really strong position. Because uh, Kokanee is really surviving really nicely here. I don't know how Kokanee is doing this, but he's really surviving right here. There's a lot of... Here's the Dragoons. And your stack attack. Going to take this out. And... It's time, Jose. So pull these back. It's time for Jose to... To go for the attack. He's taking out. Take two of these out. Stim these guys up and just go for the attack. Save your partner and... Go, 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 go. And then put one tank here. Jose just needs to come and save his partner now. Um, you got, you got, there's only two cannons right here. You got to go for it. You got all these guys. So, um, Kokini really, really surviving for a while. Now he's coming for the attack. And it's just going to be too late right now. And let's see if there's no, there's absolutely no tech for... Um, there's no tech for Gensei, and there's no tech really for, uh, for Rabbit. So, coming in here, gonna have to stack attack. This attack should have came a long time ago. Gonna try and kill Gensei right here. And... Needs to siege these guys up. Just gonna keep micro these guys back. But I think he could have saved, or he could have saved, um, he could have saved Kokanee and then put a couple of tanks right here. And, uh, could have, they could have, I mean, they would have had a chance, but now there's going to be a flank attack on this. Send these guys in the back and it's just not going to, yeah, not going to work, so. We will see that flank attack. Let's see if he's going for the main with this. Probably going to try to take out the main with this. Or just use these to micro a little bit. Rabbit's starting to build up his base. And now his tech is right there. So. Jose, I did, did not play this one well at all either. I think he needed to push out way faster. He's not spending in his money that well either. Um. He started off early pretty good, but I think he really kind of slowed down there. So, is that going to be 7? Is it 6-2 to two or 7-2? to two? So, <coughs> uh, 6-2. to two. So, now we got Protoss, Protoss versus Protoss Zerg. And I will probably do this game and maybe one more. We'll see. So we got Jose right here. Kokini going to go with his build. And this will be a bad spot for Gensei. And we'll speed up just a tad. And Kokini saying that they're going for speedlings. And they're going to try to box in both. So, getting the cannon here. These gateways are going to finish. And Jose telling Kokini to relax. Uh, that's why Jose is funny. He is pretty chill. Um, and maybe we'll see a cannon rush over here. Guy is sneaking in there. So Kokini gonna get boxed in, and so is Jose. They like AI, learn as they go. They are like They are like AI. Um that's how good they are. They just keep keep learning and getting better and faster and and figuring it out. And now I think they're even better. So, got the Overlord in here. Definitely Gensei is like AI. Uh, Rabbit, he's really good at twos, but he's just not. Gensei's just on a different level, in my opinion. So, going to get the Nexus here. No gas yet. G gas for Kokini. They did scout this out, and now they're going to go for an attack. And these guys are going to get trapped. And, but there's going to be four zealots here, so it should be okay. 
And we'll see what Gensei goes into. Uh, this is going to be easy spot abuse. So we've seen spot abuse from both teams. We saw the nukes on Kokani. And uh, I, there was another game where there was just a lot of spot abuse. So spot abuse on both sides. And that's what makes this game fun, or this map uh, interesting. If, if you can try to stop the spot abuse. So going to be uh, boxed in here. Boxed in here. It's only two cannons. Kogani telling his partner to choke. And he should choke because they will probably try to kill Jose with uh, Hydros. So, got to be extremely, extremely careful. Want to get this probe, I think. He's bringing these, this in here to take this out. He was going for a cannon rush. Taking that out. Let's see if he goes into Hydros. Going to go with the triple here. And there's should be a robotics. There's your robotics. And Kokani telling his partner that he's got Rabbit has gas, so be prepared for drops. No gas for Jose just yet. There's your choke from Jose. And double. Oh, there's your citadel, and then there's there's your robotics facility. And here's your scout. And gonna see no lair. And going to know that they're going to be up against Hydra. So what they really can do is just choke up like they are and just drop, drop, drop. And I think if they get spot abused really, really bad this game, they'll learn, because they are like AI, to get a expo over here. So like Rabbit will get an expo over here and there'll be an expo over here. So we'll see if that's... If they do that this game, uh, and if they don't, we'll see if they learn to do that for the next time. So here's your Nexus, already the support bay. So the drop is going to be really, really fast, and he's going to just start dropping Zealots in here, but Dragoons are here for Rabbit. So he's going to spot this out and might take out the shuttle, trying to take it out. And these Zealots aren't going to do anything, getting a couple pylons over here. And let's see if that Reaver and bringing in some Zerglings to help out his partner. So, four, there's your Lair and no Hydras yet for Gensei. And Kokuni saying they are going mass, so got to be careful because he's trying to push out here. And that's why Kokuni's really, really cannoning up, and Jose is playing a little bit. Uh, He's scaring Kokini a little bit because you just don't want to get attacked and the game ends because you're just not playing careful enough. So we're going to spread these guys out. Look at this. Going to get complete vision of this for drops. So, And we'll see if he burrows these guys, but this is extremely, extremely high level. Did that so fast. And sending these guys out, probably going to get vision down here. He's going to have vision all over the place and building a ton of macro hatcheries. So he's got a couple hydras right here. Let's see how many hydras this is. 11 hydras to try to snap, uh, snipe out the drops. I do think that Jose needs to go for a faster drop and really just spot abuse. And keep the cannons like crazy. Keep the cannons around your main like crazy. He's getting a Corsair. Reaver going to get a shot off and not going to. I got to pay a little bit more attention on that, guys. I got it, though. So there's your tech for Rabbit. And let's see if Kokini's going to. He's got a robotics facility over there. So he's got two robotics facilities. And he's going to start building his D. Here is a Corsair. Get some information. So going to see that the lair and there is no Spire. Overlord coming over here. Nice little vision. And just one Nexus for Rabbit right now. So one Nexus for Kokini. The triple for Jose. And sending this around to scout. So they are scouting that expo. Here's a drop. And going to pull. And going to get the storm off. And only going to get about three kills. So good pull right there from Rabbit. So what they might do is try to go for a storm here and come down 
Watch Z drop. Uh, Zealot drop or Lurker drop. Uh, I think that I'm surprised that Gensei's not going for some type of Lurker drop. He's got a decent amount of Hydras right here. Got these Overlords right here to get a little bit more vision. And I'm going to bring this around. And here's the drop right here. And not going to see it just yet. And not going to get that storm off. So, And here is another Corsair going to run in here. I don't know if he's got it rallied. So is he accidentally doing that? Not sure. And here's his first drop. We'll see if this one gets through. Speed. That's one thing that... <coughs> here's the drop. <coughs> Get that reaver out and get that shot off. And beautiful shot right there. So really nice job there by Jose. And uh, that's going to be big. But one thing that the Koreans do. And he's got this. He's got to stop rallying this here. He's got this on accidental rally. Um, is they get overlord speed with their zerg. And I think that's extremely, extremely key. Uh, I'd like to see more western players go for that. Here is another drop. And I got to see his pull to the right. And he's also getting dropped as well. Pulling. So going to pull. Jose going to save him on that one and tell him he was getting dropped. And now um, Jose's got 83 probes. Kokanee's at 44. So Kokanee and Rabbit are basically the same. And Rabbit's got drops. The Zerg is Gense starting to build up. And one thing with the Zerg is you could just always just go right in the corner and spot abuse this spot right here every time. Burrowing up, I think I heard some maybe lurkers or something. There's your lurkers. Here's a drop coming from Kokani. And gonna get this one right on through. Here's your first storm. And gonna get another storm off. Here is a drop coming from Rabbit. And one thing that. There's a, this is a drop. Drop coming from Jose. Sneaking this around. And. Gonna get the storm off. Maybe get a storm right there. So really nice storm. And he was also getting dropped. I think Kokodi was saying he was getting dropped. But that's a huge, huge drop right there on Gensei. And but what I was saying was I think Kokodi and Jose, next time they play, need to just drop a Zalot over here and just take out these Zerglings. Uh, they're... They'll probably learn that there probably are Zerglings out here, so drop a Zealot out here and and maybe put a couple DTs out here and get your own vision for drops because get a couple DTs out here. Here's a drop right here. And the Reaver's going to be huge. He's getting dropped right now, so Kokini's going to pull. And there's your Storm and going to dodge that one pretty decently at 58 probes. Yeah, drop a couple DTs out here. I think that would be smart. Uh, I see a lot of the Koreans do that. So, and this is what I'm saying is Western players are going to learn from Korean players and Korean players are going to learn from Western players. But we got another drop coming from Kokani and a lot of robotics. So I think he's probably just going to go for a huge reaver drop right here, which I think is a solid move from Jose. He's going to have to get some observers though as well. And Rabbit at 51 probes, Kokani at 65. Going to miss that drop. And yeah, Gensei is got a very sick Zerg. <clears throat> and these Reavers. This is another another move that the Koreans do is they put Reavers here, and they really help out take out the the Templars. So good move there. Let's see if there's any nothing in that shuttle, and. Probably going to burrow these up. That's going to make this reaver drop a little bit tougher. So. Need to keep dropping. Rabbit at 56 probes. Not going with the expo just yet. But Kokini going to scout it out with this shuttle. And. Gensei is starting to build up though. He's getting bigger and bigger. He's at 130 supply. And we got an attack. Maybe going to try to flank this. Try to bust out, try to bust out his partner. Here's a drop right here. And the Reaver going to save the day right there. So, again, that's at least the third time that a Reaver saved the day. Trying to bust out here. Drop those Reavers right here. So, really busting out here nicely. And going to build a hatchery right here. So, really try to box in with a hatchery. But Jose able to kind of 
boss out of here. Kokini doesn't have too much of a mass, but he's going to start massing up. Just make a bunch of Dragoons. That's all he really needs. And hopefully I don't miss any drops. Um, it's so easy to miss drops when they're this close together. And they come from their base. So, helping his partner uh, bust out of here. Here's an attack from Gensei. Going to probably micro these guys. Losing some of these Hydras, though. Uh, micro these guys. Take out these Reavers. These Reavers are doing some work. Here's... A drop coming from Kokanee. Probably going to try to drop on. Well, he, yeah, he's going to drop on Gensei. And I haven't seen a drop from Rabbit in a little bit. Maybe he's going for a big Reaver drop. And here's a drop. And that's going to get sniped out. Ooh, almost got the drop off. So here's a drop from Rabbit. And he's going to go back. And I don't think he did he... Misclick on accident. Looks like we got a big drop coming from Jose. And Kokini has a lot of money in the bank. So does Jose. And Gensei's building up. He's at 153 supply. And once he starts getting Guardians, that's going to be tough. So here's a big drop right here, though. And it's going to be a huge Reaver drop. These, these Lurkers are going to do some work. And he needs to just attack that main. Go after the main. Finish the main off. So. <clears throat> taking out a lot of. Well he actually pulled his drones. So his drones are somewhere else. But taking out a lot of these lurkers. And there might be an observer here. Maybe not. But. Not attacking the main. Here's another drop coming from. Jose. Dropping one more reaver in here. There's a nice storm right there. From, I think, yeah, that was Jose. So Jose gonna storm. Here's the drones coming back, and a lot of more storms here. Trying to take out this main. And while I'm watching this, I want to make sure I don't miss any other drops. So I think is this two more nexuses here. So this is gonna get taken out, and Gensei's gonna be survive this. Let's see if he's got upgrades. He's got two two upgrades. So he's got two two upgrades. Better upgrades than Jose. Here's a drop coming. From Jose. And now it's like a one versus one. Here's a drop attempt on Kokini. And going to get that drop out and storm right there. But Kokini's got plenty of money in the bank. So he should be fine. We'll see if this drop. Kokini telling his partner to start attacking the middle, which is the smart move to go for. They both are basically maxed out. Attack the middle. He's going to run this around. And he's going to try to drop these Reavers in the corner, I think. And take out the main. So that's going to... I think he is going to take out the main right here. So it's going to be a nice move. Pulling the drones really nicely right there. And going to take out the main. It's got one more shot. Maybe two. One. And nice storm right there. So going to take out the main. So really good job there by Jose. And Jose telling his partner, Kokini, that he got Zerg all... And to attack the middle. So let's see what the upgrades are. 201 for Kokini. 111 for Jose. Getting all three. He's going to have 222 real soon. Uh, Rabbit must have lost all. I, wasn't complete, I didn't completely see it. Here's another drop coming on him. And there's your Reaver. And the Reaver is going to save the day again in that case. So. Rabbit is basically broke, and I think this one is going to go to Jose and Kokini. So that's going to even or uh, make the score 6 to 3. So I will do one more. So do right into game 10. And now, this one's a short one, I guess. So Rabbit is going to be on the Zerg. And we saw Gensei on the Zerg last game. So I think they might have been a little bit upset maybe on losing again. Because Gensei does not think he's, he does not expect to lose. And so we got Jose and Kokini. Protoss, Protoss, here's, your, here's Gensei. And he's going to build a little bit different this time. And let's see if Rabbit builds a little bit different. Doesn't look like he's going for a nine pool. Going to 
go with a hatchery so here's your gateway gonna probably get a gateway here scout and this is this can get nicely walled off with three gateways and that's what he's doing so gonna get literally they're like AI I mean they just can't say is like AI um, gonna get this scout off and see these three gateways right here and rabbit actually not gonna go with a pool until a little bit later so do not have to worry about pressure here's your forge so maybe Jose will just build a pylon right here and cannon rush this take this out and hold the Zer or hold the Protoss in here here's a scout right here and then maybe they could just go for both zealot speed and attack the the Zerg but he's uh, rabbits going with the triple hatchery so really late pool and I think Gensei is going to try to wall this off. He's got two probes right here. He should have a couple zealots. He's got three zealots on the way. Probably going to put that other zealot right here. Get a cannon. There's your first cannon. So going to have this off. And going to have two more. So we got two zealots here. So it's gonna be, there's going to be four zealots right here. So um, four zealots versus four zealots. So and there's a probe and ooh that. that he might run these zealots right on through, though. Going to take out the cannon, so smart move there. Nice little micro from Jose. Trying to take this cannon out. Going to lose one zealot. And going to go with a nexus right now. And running this through. Two more cannons getting made. And holding these guys here. Does not want any of these zealots to run through. Need to attack this zealot. Going to take out this zealot. And this is a lot of zealots. So it's six zealots. Going to take out these cannons right here, so... Gensei going to miss calculate. He brought these zealots back here, so he should have left them up here and kept one zealot back there. Because he knows he's not going to get any help from his partner, because his partner went for a triple hatchery. So, and no gateways, so this one is going to go to. This will be a quick one. So, this one is going to go to Jose and Kokanee. So, trying to take out these, these cannons right here. There's a stack attack and spreading and, and clipping all of these zealots. Going to keep trying to take out these, these cannons. Let's see if some zerglings start coming. I don't see actually going for hydras. So, but it's just going to be too late. And I think Kokanee should be getting some gas right now. Already a triple from, from Jose. So, they should be able to... Yeah, there's a GG. So, I can do one more real quick. So, it's going to be 6-4 to four Gensei and um, Rabbit are up. So, that one was... I mean, see, everybody screws up. So, this one's a Protoss, 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 Protoss. Let's go. But, what I was saying is uh, everybody screws up sometimes. Jose screwed up a couple games. I think Kokini screwed up a couple games. Gensei screwed up that game. Rabbit screwed up a couple games. So... Yeah, actually, Gensei screwed up two games. He got, he lost that one where it was Protoss, Protoss, or Protoss Zerg, and they went him. And he didn't have good enough defense. So we got Jose on the Protoss right here, Gensei right here, and he's going to do that same thing, even though it didn't work, but his partner is Protoss. So uh, they are going to be really far apart. So it's going to be interesting to see the micro between Jose and Gensei this game. And then it's going to be basically Kokanee and Rabbit microing each other. So, and basically Gensei just taking the exact same build order that Kokanee's kind of been doing. And being like an AI. Um, is he going to get a forge now? So there's your forge. And that's what Jose, so Jose going to do the same thing, but not going to go with the choke of it though. So... Here's your first gateway. And three gateways for Kokanee. I think he meant to get his fourth one. And he didn't have the money for it. And he accidentally didn't click it. But or uh, actually, okay, so he's going to go gas. So they're going to find out that it's Protoss, Protoss versus Protoss, Protoss. Going to see this choke right here. Here's your cannon for Jose. And 
this is a little trick I learned a long time ago is if you put this here this here and then you put another forge here and a cannon you can click this and click here and your your probes will actually go all the way around you don't have to worry about stop and drops but it really kind of gets in the way so building a couple was oh, he gonna try to cheese a little bit sending these zealots in here this is gonna be a one-to-one -one battle so smart move here and was trying to take out some probes right there and he canceled those probes right there getting the gas right now cooking already has the gas and he's gonna get the probe in the way and cooking he's really good at um, dodging his probes and and making sure he doesn't really lose any probes so triple nexus for Jose and that's the one thing that's tough about playing against these guys is if you go for a triple nexus this early you got to be ready for to be stopping stopping drops and a, and just dragoon so um, I don't know if I like that from Jose it's good in the long run but we'll see so the gas is here for Gensei he's got two more gateways on the way I'm sure he's got a cyber somewhere no cyber just yet he does have the gas so a little bit miscalculated there's a cyber so he just started his cyber so not doing the best from him and this is gonna be bad for Jose so only playing off of two gateways waiting for his partner to come and there's a little Tourette's gateway and now I think yeah so this is I mean this is this is why I don't think you should go for the triple like this this early because you can box in at least one of them and then start going for the other one and Dragoons are coming from Kokanee so Kokanee is going to go with a mass and Jose and Kokanee are not on the same page uh, Jose should be going with he should have all gateways right now and they should be going for an attack way earlier on lovely rabbit so I don't like the page that Jose is on here so here's your Citadel from Gensei and micro on these guys here comes Gensei to help out and these guys might get trapped so gotta be careful here and Kokanee gonna try to run these guys back and gonna fight these guys and actually take out some of these guys and gonna probably attack micro attack micro attack micro these guys are gonna start running in here's your Dragoons so that's going to be huge, but there's not many. Uh, there's a decent amount, seven, maybe nine zealots right there. But there should be way more zealots from Jose. But he went for that super early triple. Uh, and look at this tech from Rabbit. So Rabbit's just going to have super fast drops. And Gensei is going with the mass. So he's going to go with all zealots and speed. So the economy is going to be huge for Jose, but... He's going to probably get dropped um, because the drop is just going to be so fast from Rabbit. And here's your Dragoon. So Micro right here and doing a nice job. But DTs are going to be coming soon, I'm guessing, from... I'm guessing there's going to be DTs coming from Rabbit. He's got the drop. Let's see if there's DTs. No, one DT. Getting some pylons on the side. Doing a good job with these Dragoons. And... Jose needs to get more, um, more gateways. So six gateways plus two, that's eight. So we're fighting against eight gateways and a Templar drop is going to be coming real soon. At about 630 mark, is this a cannon? And speed, speed counters Dragoons as well. And also there's going to be DT. So let's see if there's an observatory. Not yet. And there's going to be speed from... Speed from Gensei as well. So, let's see where that drop is. This drop could have came a little bit sooner. Here's your attack on Jose. And Kokanee going to go with a reaver drop. Jose should be pulling back. This is just too many zealots here. Kokanee going to start pulling, pushing out here with his zealots. He's got an extra nexus right here. Some cannons right here. Micro him back to these cannons. And there's a DT over here going to try to take out any of the pylons that are over there. And Kokanee making sure that his pylons don't die on the side. But 
This one is. He's going to take out this pylon for sure. And some more cannons coming down. And going to probably take out that Citadel of a Dune right there. Dragoon's on the way. Playing off of one Nexus. You don't see this often. Can't say micro and so hard, but he's and he's not getting his clicking his uh, probes right there. So he will probably soon. But um, waiting for that drop. Look at four probes. Wow, not playing as good as he usually does. Let's see if five happens. I don't see a drop anywhere. So that drop should be somewhere. Here's a drop from Kokanee though. And actually, Jose did get dropped, so I missed it. Sorry, guys. I was looking for that drop. So that's why he was running all these guys up here. And just, and that's why going for that triple like that, if you get dropped that early, you're basically back to ground zero. So here's your Dragoons. Here's a drop from Kokanee. And Reaver going to get a shot off on the right side, but there's only one probe there. Now the drops are going to keep coming from Rabbit. So now we got a big, big attack coming on. Uh, Kokanee here. Yeah, I wish I could change the colors. And I will learn. Someone top show me in the, the comments. But Kokanee should be fine. But I think I'm going to guess a drop's going to come right over the top. Maybe not. We'll see where that drop is. Here's your shuttles right here. We'll see if Gensei. I think Rabbit's playing this one the best. Um, oh, look at all these Templars in here. Storming the Dragoons. Great counter against dragoons so really nice job there from rabbit so i think rabbit is really playing this one the best should have another drop coming real soon micro on these guys back and gonna try to go back door right here and gonna try to box in gensei so that's gonna be a smart move there maybe get some dts as well but kokanee is getting uh beat up right now so Gonna have to get these cannons right here. Here's that drop. And no speed. And we've got five temp bars in there. So ready to just take out all the probes. Kokanee's got some DTs here. So that's going to save the day. And there's some DTs here from Jose. And he's already pulling his probes up here. So here comes all of your temp bars. And he's, he might see all these right here and storm all of this. There's one storm, two storms, three storms. So, nice, nice storm down to 26 probes. Jose back up to 44 probes, so he's back in business. Boxing off Gensei right here. Let's see if Gensei, he doesn't have any tech, so, or no drops. So, the drops, it's just going to be drops from, just going to be drops from Rabbit. So, let's see if Rabbit's got, should have speed. I don't see another shuttle anywhere. So, they got this boxed in, so maybe go for the attack, but... I mean, Kokanee's pretty broke. Kokanee needs to try to drop Gensei. If he can get one drop on Gensei, uh, that'd be huge. But now they're going to go for the attack and try to break out right here. So smart, smart move here by Rabbit and Gensei. And Rabbit is just huge and really playing this one like a boss. So... This is another... You got a DT. Here's your Observer. The DTs are really helping a lot, but... There's just not enough of them. Now the Observer's here, so they're probably going to go for an attack. They're probably going to go for an attack on Kokanee. So, it's... I, I think I might have missed another job, just because it's so hard to see with this blue color. And, yeah, here's the attack. And, Jose is basically broke... Well, he's not broke. He's got 60 probes. So, he just doesn't have enough gateways. And there's got to be a drop coming from somewhere. I just don't see it. Yeah, I'm just not seeing a drop. And there, it's going to be the GG. So, Jose definitely played that one. Uh, that was not smart. Smart way to play that one. I did, did not agree with the way he played that one. So... Gonna be 7-4 and Rabbit actually destroyed that game. So um gonna be 7-4, I think it is. Maybe 7-4. So I will continue this series. There's four more games. And um give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.